Um, I'm just here to introduce Janet Trevino. Um, she, her, is a platonic touch cuddling and rehabilitative touch specialist who designs intuitive spaces for authentic interpersonal connection through touch and interpersonal awareness and human evolution. After thousands of hours of one-on-one -on -one client work over seven years, she has seen how personal growth can be accelerated through a simple sustained touch and hold. Devoting, her, devoting herself to addressing one of society's largest misunderstood, shame-filled, and unmet needs, platonic touch, platonic touch people are finding purpose and wholeness is addressing owners. Our people are finding purpose and wholeness again. Jennifer Reno, through not a house, though not a houseless advocate, was invited to speak on the very important issue, the human need for touch, attention, because it is the basic human need that is absent when one loses an address, an address of residency in the city. Once one loses residency of an address, the city seems to see such a person as a nuisance and houseless folks become ghosts. That is what some feel like when becoming homeless, like ghosts that nobody wants to see. Thank you, Ben. I heard a saying, when you're in a traffic jam, you're not in a traffic jam. You are the traffic jam. I want you to sit with that. Welcome, I'm Janet Trevino. And yes, I have an unusual job. Basically, I provide professional cuddling. I, I'm a cuddler. I cuddle people for a living. So how is this related to houselessness? I'm here to bring you back into your own body, your first home. Being that we're humans, being human with each other, it is where we experience our humanity in these bodies. How do you feel in your body? Do you notice what it wants right now? Are you able to experience touch? Do you want a hug? Do you wish you could cuddle up to someone right now? Except it's really hot, <laughs> maybe you don't. But would that be something that you might want? Many of us are walking around completely disconnected from the body. And it's not without reason. Many of us ex have experienced trauma, abuse, mental health issues. So many of us are houseless in our own bodies. We sit with that. Our first home, we're not even living in it. How can we begin to possibly understand some one of our, our, our fellow houseless family members when we're disconnected from our own bodies, our own selves? It begins here. I spent time with a houseless person on a project for about two months. His name is Sam. And all he could do, all he wanted to do was to be on me and touch me. And we, we created an agreement that was okay holding my hand, touching me, giving me hugs, taking pictures with me. And I could just tell that there was that touch hunger. There was such a need, like he hadn't had that. Someone who actually would allow for touch to be exchanged between us. The following summer, he passed away from a heat related illness. The need to feel our humanity via touch is vital. I'm gonna say that again. We experience our humanity through touching. Because I don't know my body unless it's in contact with other people, with other things. I don't know where I end and you begin unless we're touching, unless we're kind of close. Or you know what, not even touch. We all have that bubble. We all know when someone's in our space. We need that to know who we are, how we, how we experience this body. I know me because you exist. Otherwise, I don't know who I am. Notice if you're embodying your home, your body right now. Are you noticing it? See if right now you welcome and need touch. Don't forget to ask for it. 
don't touch without consent. Oh, he's being very respectful. This is your home, your body. You would not want somebody coming into your home, your physical home, deciding they're just gonna knock on the door and walk inside your house. Nobody wants that without an invitation. Same with our own bodies. So you can just acknowledge your needs. See first if you can figure out what those are before you start knocking down someone else's house, right? Or their tent or wherever it is they're living. Check in with yourself. What do you need? And I'm, I'd like to have some interaction here a little bit. Ask yourself, raise your hand if you like to give hugs. Okay, look around. Make sure you see who likes that. Ask yourself who likes to receive hugs. Because you might like to give them, but maybe you don't want to receive them. Excellent. I'm not going to pressure you to touch anybody right now or do anything like that. But don't forget to ask. If you have that need, you're experiencing in your home a need for something, ask someone for that. Be in your home. Be in your body. Acknowledge your humanity. See the other person. This is where we have to begin. So just like in that traffic jam, we don't have a houseless problem. We are the houseless problem. We are the homeless problem. It begins here inside us, in our own bodies. Thank you. Thank you.